Good morning, everyone. Steve Georgie here from Allendale's Trading Floor. It is June 25th. Uh, we do have the grain market starting off a little stronger. Corn up two and a half, beans up nine and a quarter, uh, wheat up over two cents uh, as far as the overnight session. We did have export sales out um, a little bit ago. Uh, neutral, I guess, more so for corn. Um, beans, maybe a little negative, new crop beans, but Overall, I don't think export sales even matter today. A lot of what the focus is and why we had seen this strength uh, overnight is because these rains are continuing across the Midwest. A lot of concerns here of what's the yields going to look like. Are we going to get acres planted? Where are we at right now as far as good to excellent ratings? Are we going to see that go up or decrease, you know, go down here uh, as, of, as of Monday? So a lot of... Uh, a lot of focus on that uh, as these fields continue to get saturated. Um, what are we looking at here as far as too much rain, too little rain, or too what? Um, rains, though, past the weekend certainly become lighter. Uh, temperatures remain on more of the cooler end as well. Um, but we need to see these storms subside and, and look at uh, look at some more of a drier biased uh uh, for now. So big report out on Tuesday. USDA is going to release quarterly stock numbers as well as acreage numbers. Uh, and so we're going to have another look at that. One thing to remember, though, is these acres numbers are from June 1st. So this is planting intention as of June 1st. And as of June 1st, everybody had expected to plant, get the crop in the ground, and everything else. So you're going to hear guys talking about um, uh, about preventative plant acres and acres that are just not being planted in the ground or whatever. Um, this is intentions from the first. As we did our farmer survey, and we released that uh, a couple days ago, that is we are looking for an increase in corn acres and bean acres, for that matter, here on this report. So uh, be careful on that as we move toward it. Livestock right now, cattle down a little bit, following through with yesterday. Uh, a little disappointing as far as cash talk yesterday, but box beef though very strong. Choice up 199, select up 240. Maybe we will find a little support yet as we go through the week, but we need to see some stronger cash trade uh, to get the bulls back in this market. Hogs back and forth trade right now. Cutout values though 68 cents higher. Uh, Friday we've got a quarterly hog and pigs report that'll be out at two o'clock on Friday. Um, and we'll see what kind of numbers we get there. But overall, the charts still look weak. We continue to gravitate lower. Um, we need to see some positive news off that report, maybe to see some short covering uh, ahead of it. Stock market up 66. Crude oil down about 30 cents. We got the dollar right now relatively unchanged, so not a lot of movement out of that dollar for now. But give us a call if you have any questions. You can reach us here at 800-262-7538 or the web at Allendale dash inc.com hope you guys have a great day we'll talk to you again tomorrow take care